What's up, everyone? It's the Lego Detective, and I am starting my beat em on reviews again. Yeah, so this is my first battle beat em on uh, Fire Spirits review, and this is on Go Tiger. So, Go Tiger is, yeah, from Battle Beat em on Fire Spirits, a 0 2 system beat em on, and he was kind of in the section of Fire Spirits. When Beatamon started having really crazy cores, and you can just see that this guy has a huge core. At first, some of the Fire Spirits beat him on, like Chrome Raven Cyclone, Cobalt Saver Fire, uh, Break Ogre, they kind of had simple cores. But then, you started getting beat him on like this, Gil Scorpion, Impact Shark, Revolver Hades, and they had really crazy and insane and awesome cores with insane and cool gimmicks. So, this is one of them, and you can just see he has a huge core, and this core is actually called the Short Stroke Drive Core, which I think is the longest name for a core that I have ever heard. Definitely for Battle Beatamon, um, and Crash Beatamon, uh, well, there aren't really that many names for Crash Beatamon cores, but I'm not sure. If you know a core name that's longer than Short Stroke Drive Core, then tell me in the comment section below, because I'm very curious about that core and the beat -em on it comes with. So, yes, he has a tiger motif, as you can see. Um, I really love the way that the head looks. You do have this little black visor down there, but, you know, I don't really... That's supposed to be where the beat -em on would quote-unquote see. However, I'm just so used to seeing the tiger eye up there, so that's what I see. And you can tell it is a tiger. It looks like a tiger... We have, like, these little stripes, um, and I did get this used, so all of the stickers are applied. However, as you can see, some of them are a little bit bad shape, but, you know, if I got this beat -em on like, sealed in the box or something, I probably wouldn't apply that many of the stickers, so, yeah. Anyway, he has this big horn up here, which you could kind of use as, like, a sight to align it with a pin, and use this, and then shoot, so you can do that. Um... I'm not the biggest fan of kind of like the orangey gold color you used, um, but it's starting to grow on me a bit, and we do have this little symbol right there, and I'll get into the, what that is a bit later, but yeah, all of the details on this beat -em on just look really nice, I really like how it looks, battle beat -em on up there, um, yeah. So this beat -em on is owned by Kiba. Kiba is a childhood friend of Wen and Lee, and they are the owners of Bakuso and Rekuso. And while Wen and Lee are in a town, they meet Kiba again, and he reveals to them that he's actually um, a beta player, um, which is aka a B-shot beater, like basically someone who plays beat -em on And then at that point, Wen and Lee want to enter the winner's tournament because previously they didn't want to, but now they want to because Kiba's entering it. And he has, Kiba gets the spike shot. Not going to go into it. I don't really remember the episode name, but I actually watched it recently. So you can check that out. It is, it is on YouTube. Um, so, yeah, there's his beat -em on And Kiba kind of resembles, well, his uh, his clothing is like, kind of looks like a tiger as well. It's all white with like big stripes. And it looks actually, it kind of matches his beat -em on And he, he's always like roaring. Um, and yeah, it's pretty cool. And basically when Kiba gets the spike shot, which is his strike shot, this little symbol appears on Go Tiger. I'm not sure what that says. Maybe it says Spike for Spike Shot. Maybe it says Tiger. Maybe it says Go. Maybe it says Kiba. I don't know. If any of you know what that says, then please tell me because I have no idea. So, yeah. This guy has a really intricate core, so let's take a look at it. So here is the core of Go Tiger with the armor removed. This is the Short Stroke Drive Core. And the gimmick of this core, as well as kind of the name. It actually was based off of a system, which is another name for a core, from Super beat -em on called the Short Stroke System. And yeah, they were called systems, I'm not sure why. Probably because most of when they were released, it was a very complex thing, so they were called a system rather than a core. Um, yeah, so it was inspired by the Short Stroke System. And what it does is, as you can see, when I push in the trigger, these one-handed grip parts, they move back. And those are the hold parts right there. 
the hold parts move back and the drive strip is on one of the hold parts. So essentially you have um, some little notches inside of the trigger. I didn't build this and I haven't seen like anyone do any like let's builds of it or anything. But from what I gather and from what I've heard, um, there are some little notches and it slides against the, like some gears and these parts. And you can actually kind of see right there like a little notch and that would basically slide against the gear and you push it back and then it forces the hold parts forward. So you have basically a double force on the Vidama. Normally with most beat em on you push in the trigger and then that is pushing the Vidama into the hold parts. But here you have the trigger and the hold parts pushing on the Vidama at the same time. And that is what makes um, this core so unique and very fun to mess around with. Some people have said that he's really good for rapid fire. Some people have said that he's horrible for rapid fire. From experience, I think that he's okay. Like, if you fill him up with a magazine, he can't shoot so fast. However, he can still shoot quickly, even though he doesn't shoot multiple marbles at once. So, yeah. Anyway, let's put that to the test, and let's do some test shots with Go Tiger. Okay, so here I am on the floor, ready to do some test shots. But before I do that, I would like to show you the strike shot, which comes with this beat -em on This is the spike shot, if it will focus. Come on. Okay. There we go. So it is a plastic marble, which is very lightweight, with a rubber strip around it. So it's very similar to the drive shot. However, as you can see, it has these little bumps in it. And it's more or less indents, but it's just better to call them bumps because that's what it looks like. But yeah, it has these little bumps in the rubber. So it has more of a grip on the drive strip. And Go Tiger does have the drive strip right there, that little black thing. And as you can see, when you line it up, it will have a very powerful shot. Uh, let me just get it. And there you go. It's lined up. It will be very powerful. And basically, the drive shot, the reason... So this is more powerful, but it's less... It, it doesn't go as far, and it's not as fast. Because there's more friction going on. So you'll have more power, but not as much speed. And not as much distance. So, anyway, let's do a test shot. There we go. That was not the best shot that I've ever done, but let's do that again. So as you can see, it is very lightweight, and it just tends to bounce off things. Strike shots are really not the most competitive of things. However, they're really fun to mess around with. And, okay, so uh, this right here is a little bin that I use to keep Bidama from going under my dresser. And literally, I shot it. It flew on top of this bin and then went behind it. So yeah, that was actually very crazy. Let me just get that. Okay, and I did get, I did get it, so, you know, let's just do another shot. And that kind of just bounced off everywhere, so, it's, it's really cool. Um, and that just bounced everywhere, so, anyway, let's do some normal test shots with some normal Bidama. There are a few ways to fire this. You can fire it with two hands like this, or you can fire it like this. It's kind of tricky to do it like this, because as you can see, it moves around a lot. But if you hold, like, his head with one hand and then fire with the other... It's a very controlled shot. So, anyway, let's just do some test shots quickly. So, yeah, he's not the most powerful. You can tell by the sound that the Bidama are making. They're slamming against the cardboard. Um, so, yeah, not the most powerful. However, it's really fun to use. And, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um... And now, just for fun, let's just use some of these red Bidama here. And let's do one final shot with the spike shot. And there are the test shots for Go Tiger. So, there is my review on Go Tiger. Now, I really recommend this Bidamon. He is very cheap. You can get him for like under $20 on Amazon or eBay. And I got him in a big, giant, used lot of beat -em on But even if I did, even if he wasn't in that lot, it would not be stressful for me to get him. He's a very common beat -em on But that's good because he's actually a really fun beat -em on And if you want to kind of dive into the Zero Two system, this is a good beat -em on to start out with. 
Now, because I got him used, I'm not really sure what the building experience is, if it's easy or hard. I would assume it's a little bit harder because of the short stroke drive core gimmick. However, he is a really fun beat -em on to mess around with, and he has a great gimmick. So overall, I totally recommend to him. But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. There's my review on Go Tiger, and please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.